Hello everyone, this is TJ Sutton with Avidyne's Tech Support Group and thanks for joining me on our second in a series of installation training videos um, regarding the Skytrax 100B. In this video we're going to be discussing the Skytrax 100B interface to an IFD 500 or 400 series GPS navigator. You'll notice that in this drawing we're using RS-232. Um, the Skytrax 100B absolutely has the capability to do 429 for traffic and the IFD has the capability to take in the 429 traffic from the Skytrax 100B but it's not the recommended format and the reason why is because the Airing 429 traffic data is going to simulate task targets. So the old legacy task systems, that's what your targets are going to look like. If you do this uh, via RS-232, which is our recommended format, what you're going to get is full ADSB symbology on the IFD side. Um, you'll notice the note at the bottom says that the Skytrax 100B does not need to be interfaced to both IFDs if you've got a dual IFD installation. Um, all of this data will cross-sync from one unit to the other. And on this first line here, we see that this is capstone high-speed traffic and weather coming from the Skytrax 100B going out to the IFD. And also note that these ports are not set in stone. You can use any available RS-232 port on either the Skytrax 100B side or the IFD side. Um, just make sure that the configurations match the way that it's physically wired in the aircraft. The other side of that RS-232 pair is also capstone high-speed traffic and weather going back. This is more of the control line coming back from the IFD. And last we have our GPS out going to the Skytrax 100B to give us certified GPS position. We recommend ADS-B plus G2 from the IFD side. Um, ADS-B plus G works fine, it's just a difference in baud rates. Um, big thing to remember here is that in order to display ADS-B traffic, Skytrax 100B also has to have an altitude source. Um, the IFD by itself is not a certified altitude source and cannot spit out certified altitude to the Skytrax 100B. So that has to be found elsewhere. Uh, the bright side is we've got some options. Um, and this information is all in the installation manual, but uh, it shows you what some of the options are. The Avidyne AXP340 sends out Icarus format. Um, big thing to remember there is you probably don't want to use that unless the AXP340 is receiving its altitude via gray code otherwise you might get an altitude loop type issue going on and you don't want to do that. Um, the ACK 30.9, uh, the Icarus 3000U, Sandia Aerospace, SAE 5-35s, Shade and 8800Ts, um, Transcala SSD 120s, basically anything that's RS-232 compatible we can use for this. We can also use Airing 429 to get altitude to the Skytrax 100B as long as it is sending label 203 and is a certified altitude source. <clears throat> Should be good to go. Um, I'm going to show you guys the configuration settings on the IFD side of things. The big thing to keep in mind here is that the settings that I'm, I'm going to show you in the video match the drawings we just looked at as far as ports go. So if you use different ports you're going to want to apply these configuration settings to those different ports that you used for your install. Okay? So this ADSB plus G2 <clears throat> this was our GPS position source out to the Skytrax 100B we put it on port 2 output um, and we decided to go with the ADSB plus G2 which is a 38400 baud rate. If you decided to do the ADSB plus G instead, it's a 9600 baud rate. Not much of a difference between the two, but the installation manual calls out the G2 setting uh, and the higher baud rate. And the next piece is our channel four in and out 
that we're going to set up for capstone high speed traffic and weather to and from the Skytrax 100B for ADSB traffic and FISB weather display at a 115 200 baud rate. Now, the the piece to take away here is that you could set this for capstone high speed traffic if you had, you know, let's say a GDL 69 providing weather and you didn't want to use the ADSB weather, you could do capstone high speed traffic by itself. Um, if you had active traffic on board and you didn't want to do the ADSB traffic but you still wanted the ADSB weather, you could set these for capstone high speed WX and it would work just fine. So ultimately what it amounts to is on the receive end of this, on the IFD, we're going to determine what pieces of that data we pick out of that data stream. Do we want the traffic and the weather? Do we want just the traffic? Do we want just the weather? Or do we want, uh, you know, both? Um, the other thing to look out for here is this HS setting because the IFD also has an option for just capstone traffic and weather without the HS and that's going to be at a baud rate of 38400. Um, we recommend the 115 200 baud rate so that's why we're calling out the capstone HS traffic and weather that's for high speed. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the next video in the series I believe we're going to be covering the Skytrax 100B interface to the EX5000 MFDs. So, uh, hope to see you there. And it, as always, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, don't hesitate to shoot an email over to techsupport at avidine.com. Alright, thanks for watching.